east, the west, north, and the south. This is where we're coming to today with a new topic of discussion. So check on in. I'm sorry I was late. I just had to run around. I'm not, uh, not in the same spot anymore, so it's a little different. Let me know that you can hear me so I can make sure that I adjust the value. So check on in. Again, I can't see. Is anyone here, here, here? Put a 13 if you can hear me, clearly. Hey, Jaquan. You can hear? Yay. Hey, Kay. Hey, Solores. Hi, Kaya. Hi, K Kit. Hi, Keith. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Eric. Hey, Kwan. Hey, Crystal. <laughs> hey, Brooke. Hey, Nina. Hey, Captain. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Juanita. Hey, Kay. Hey, Mara. Bon tage, bon tage. Tudo bem? Hola, hola. Hey, Sensei. I miss you, Mama Cake. Uh, okay, so blissful, blissful return, everyone. Peace at East, North, and the South. This is where we're coming to today with a new topic of discussion to check out. And so, um, uh, ah, perfecto, perfecto. Um, of course, my dogs are being feisty. <laughs> it, it never fails. I'm sorry. <laughs> of course, like they're so quiet before. Bye. Bye bye. They're quiet before I come out, but as soon as I come out, bonjour, bonjour, comment ça va? Ça va très bien? Okay, so, um, so let's get into the topic discussion. Um, so many revelations. Uh, we're shifting. And, you know, I know for everyone who's dealing with a lot of the full moon energy, the, uh, the, uh, the retrograde that's ongoing. Thank you, my loves. The retrograde that's ongoing. Um, it can be a little difficult. Like, a lot of people having electronic issues. Am I low? Can you hear me? I hope I can hear. Hey, Cubby. I hope you hear me okay. Let me know. Okay. So, uh, thank you. Merc Mercury retrograde is on and popping. Aw, Essen, I want you to feel better, Essen. Okay. So, where do I start? As you well know, uh, from if you have been a part of me for a long time, we are living under a firmament. <laughs> and in case firmament, uh, some like to call it blue ice. It's actually really beautiful here where I am. Big up to everybody. I'm now in the Northeast. Many of you know I was in the West. I have flown out and I am in Pennsylvania, beautiful Pennsylvania. Um, it's beautiful. Um, this is where I raised my babies. So. I'm over here um, in the middle of the woods, beautiful deer, my dogs are getting buck wild. <laughs> so we flew out, we drove back to Florida and flew out to Pennsylvania. So we're going to be here for a little bit. We were in New York, so big up to my New Yorkers. And I know, I'm, I'm tired though. Like, I will say this, I am a Sag, but I am sleep. <laughs> I'm really tired. Uh, uh, you were raised in Pennsylvania. I love Pennsylvania. We're over here. So I got a chance to go to the farm, get some raw products um, for the little ones and the dogs. You know, I love coming here because a lot of the farms I'm used to, I used to take the girls. This girl's from Mount Vernon. I look at like a rock star in the woods. <laughs> big up to Mount Vernon in New York. I actually didn't get a chance to go. We were in Manhattan. Um, big up to my Manhattan nights. Uh, we were in New York the other night going to, uh, took the little ones to go on Mother's Day. We took the little ones to go to the city to go see uh, Doctor Strange. So it was, it, we had a good time. You know what I'm saying? I haven't been on the subway in years. We kind of, we were downtown. <laughs> downtown. Anyway. Uh, so let's get into the comic, uh, the, um, the, uh, the conversation about the firmament and living in refractive ground. Now, what's happened is I had a revelation and because I'm constantly traveling, I'm going from east to west, west to north, it's crazy. 
money making Ralph Vernon. So what you know about that? Anyway, let me stop because people say I don't take stay on topic. So, um, uh, I come and found out something that was interesting. Many of you know that I created breaking the code, the reptilian code to see what entities are before you, but I found some, Hey, Okay. Do you have a compact mirror? Do you have a compact mirror? Just, I want, do you have one? Can I use, I want to do something. I'm going to show somebody, them something. If you have one. Yeah, they can. Nope, I ain't got one. <laughs> anyway, um, I was going to show you something. I'll get a compact mirror. Um, I came in with a revolution that, uh, res a revelation, a revelation um, that I found out just by chance. So um, the firmament is really, really strong. And yes, etymology, we're going to go into etymology, the words that are spelled. Um, knowing that also there aren't languages. I bought a book that was um, off the chain. It is a, a mudra book and literally the book is $40,000 now. Anyway, I'll go into that tonight on Zoom. Big up to the Zoombies in the house. <laughs> um, big up to the big up to the Zoombies in the house. We'll discuss the mudra, the book that I bought for like a quarter of the price and now it's forty thousand dollars we'll go into that and why it's probably forty thousand dollars at this time for this one particular book it's crazy they're making sure they're blocking everyone from getting any sort of help or anything um from from zoo zoom right <laughs> amara we'll talk about tonight um we're gonna go into the conversation about this because it's interlaid with this and i was going to show you something um that the mister was going to get me a compact um so we're living under the ferment. We're living in a mirror, y'all. I found that out yesterday. It was crazy because I was like, okay, I know that everything's reflective, ref reflective, and I also know that everything is refracted back. Like basically, we're living in reflect. Like I told you, we're living. Let me slow down. My perception is that we're living on the dark side of the moon. We're living on the moon. This isn't the Earth. Earth is basically a reflect reflection of it's basically a terraformed planet hollowed out planetoid that is the moon that makes us think that we're on something different than we're not the only earth type of place is um uh what i consider to be and i gotta be careful with this because as after we found out the real map of all the planets that are living in the same infinite space as us like we thought that everything lived above but actually we found out that that everything is like right beside us all the planets are basically separated by domes but they're infinitely connected they're infinitely on the same space on the same space plane um so you know what they always have the things of like above and below there are things above and below us but it's not to what you think you think that all space is space isn't it's an artificial construct and if you over overstand and understand that their concept of gravity is also to trick you. When they're looking like they're bouncing around in space, they're really underwater, okay? If you wanna know where space is, it's most likely underwater as opposed to above, okay? Because we're surrounded by a firmament and also, yeah, infinite waters. Also, we have a grid, multiple grids, that are encasing each one of us um, in, in the arena. So we have the firmament, which is that blue ice that you know the nazis have blocked off certain sections that you would be able to access in and out they're guarding that's why all of the countries whether they get along or not how do you have all the countries supposedly fighting all the time i'm going to get into it i wanted to share this how is it that you have all of the countries fighting all the time but they can all come together and agree on one space which is the um which is the uh um, the Arctic, um, in the Arctic, where the, everything is blocked off. Like, you can't even access to go to the Arctic plain. They blocked it, but they've all agreed to protect the airspace, who can go there, Antarctica. So why would all these countries be beefing? Like, if I'm beefing with you, I'm going to block you just for point. I'm not going to agree with you with anything. I'm just saying, call me a little, call me a little petty. <laughs> Maybe I'm just like that call me a little petty 
But if we got beef, why am I going to have an agreement with you about where I could fly, or where people could fly, or what we could do? Do you understand? They all have an agreement. Every country, every notable country, every continent have an agreement that they aren't that whole that whole space above Antarctica and around it is all protected. Like you and I, if we decided, yo homies, let's go over there and let's go chill and let's see if we can go over there, we couldn't go there. We would be seized, we would probably be taken out and they wouldn't allow us to be over there, okay? That's number one. So that is the case over there in Antarctica. And that is where they're probably entry and exit spaces to get out of the firmament, okay? That's an exit and ex entry point, as far as I know. That's my, some, I'm surmising that based on their behavior and the amount of knowledge information that we've gotten from that area, okay? And also we know if the planets are living on an infinite space side by side, some are a little higher and lower. Um, I think many of you saw the map that we were looking at that the gentleman, um, I think I mentioned the book, hold on. Um, I like to reference it because let me show you. I think I showed you a piece of the map before. Let me show you again. Um, hold on. Let me show you. Here we go. Hold on, before my phone dies. I should have charged my phone. Hold on. Oh, here it is. Is this it? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just looking for the picture real quick. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, if you look, look at all the different planets. They're side by side, okay? <coughs> I have a better, oh, my dear. I have a better picture, da da da. Gosh darn it. Okay, I'm gonna share a better picture on another platform. But, <coughs> the book is, let me share the book with you. It's in Spanish, so for my Latino family, it'll be easier for you to read. For those who are not as lingually sound or uh, ling or more lingually challenged, you might want to um, see if you can get, hold on, I have the book, I didn't bring it with me. Here it is. The book is called El Navagant Ne Cruzo. hold on. This is the book here. Okay. Okay, this is the book. Can you guys see it? Can everyone see it? Can you guys see it? Put a 13 if you can see it. I hope you can see it. Okay. 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 So let me state this. Why is it important that I share this with you? Because I can bring in all the other pieces of the puzzle together. The fact of the matter is that there are portals and um, stargates are uh, reference points, vortexes and portals that open simultaneously during one particular time. And that time is coming up. With the so-called pole shift or the shifting of the magnetic, mag magnetic sphere, that literally allows for um, different portals to open. Usually portals open and close without being synced to the other planets. But at this time, that's why they tell you at this time you're able to leave the firmament because there is a uh, entry and exit point that happened. Thank you, thank you, Kay. The exit and entry points actually coincide with one another with the vortexes and portals. That's also why all of a sudden they turn CERN back on. Remember, CERN was a vortex portal locator. The the um, the opening over there in Antarctica just happens to be more of an open, open, open dome, open part of the dome. But there are multiple places that actually have vortexes and portals that open. And during the time of the pole shift, they open simultaneously. And I found out also that the so-called 5G, 5G is not, it is a, oh God, 5G isn't a, it isn't a telephone 
um, thing. It is a jail. It is a, you know how they have in certain prisms, prisons, they have electric fences. I found out, and this is just from having just a divine knowing. I don't want to say entities are telling me because I am the ultimate. We're all the ultimate. There isn't anything above or below you. You are higher. There's another version of you and other, other, um, and other timelines and then we'll get into Dr. Shane. There are other versions of you higher and lower, but it's all you because it's a multiverse. So there's different variations of you. There's those who are more conscious. There's a you that's more conscious and that person exists in another timeline. Very similar, but with differences in how they exist within the perimeters of the people or frequencies of people that you know. There's different places, but what that 5G is, 5G is not a telephone communicator device. It is literally a prison, um, electromagnetic prism um, um, generator that is linked to all the other ones to reinforce the grid so that it would make it harder for you to access exit points, okay? Remember I talked about the blue glasses, the blue contacts, how they were disallowing you from seeing the yellow, the gridding, which is a yellow, like a yellow kind of, feel, like a yellow grid. It almost looks like a honeycomb. Hold on. Ah, ah, pas touché ça. Alors, pas manger. Vini, vini, vini. I'm sorry. Um, so th that is th that is why they have them all over. They've reinforced it along with these satellites that are in orbit. They're not outside of orbit. They're actually in. If you think that they're outside, remember, we can't see above a certain point. They're not leaving. There's no ships leaving the firmament. They aren't able to do that, but they can leave through vortexes and portals. Now, if I, what I think, um, uh, what I think is, uh, the, uh, the, um, the hydro collider, which is harp, it's just basically a hydro collider. And please don't think that Harp is only located in Switzerland. That is one of many. There's one in Hartford, Connecticut. There's another one in Arizona. There's another one over in Alaska. There's one in Nigeria. I think also in South Africa. I think there's a several in Argentina. CERN exists everywhere. Oh, I'm sorry, not Harp. I'm sorry, CERN. I'm sorry, CERN. CERN exists, there's multiple hydro colliders everywhere. And the hydro colliders, which I think many of you who've known me for over the years, um, hydro colliders are literally meant to pinpoint and find portals and vortexes naturally occurring and artificially or alien instituted. Okay, so that's why they turned it on because they want to see where all the openings in their grid. They want to see where there are permeations of exit points and entrance points so that they can close it. So most likely when they turn CERN on, they're looking to see where there's, um, where there's permeations in their grid, where there are openings. It's almost like having a prison system and you're looking to, or you have a fence and you wanna see where there's cracks in the fence. So you may do something to maybe see the fence to see if there's anything, uh, any places in the fence that have been weakened or if there's, um, um, uh, what are you talking, serpent, ex ser serpent, you need to go. I'm using, I'm hand motions. See, this is why you're ignorant. You're probably never traveled in your day in your life. You don't know any other cultures but your own. If you know that I'm from New York, we use hands a lot, and sev and also I'm Caribbean. So what is wrong with you? See, this is what I'm saying. This is the type of people. Um, these are the type of people who come in here and make up lies. Sir, look at her name, <laughs> Serpent Exposer. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway, the, you know. I, ignore her ignore her so I'm gonna keep using my hands because I'm from New York that's what we do and if you don't travel of course you wouldn't know that because you're ignorant see ignorant people always have you distracted because they always are limited in how they're able to see things because they're so it's like you know those um, you know those people who live on mountains or are secluded and they aren't able to they always are judgmental of other people because they can, they're limited cognitively and and consciously anyway so Let's go. So there's permeations in the field. I personally think they turned the CERN on to see where the vortexes, the naturally occurring vortexes, because this planetoid that we're living in is highly uninhabitable, highly uninhabitable. It literally is, let me take my glasses off. It, it, it's very difficult 
to um, live on the surface because this is not meant this is not the type of terrain that is meant to host um, healthy biological life this is a fur this is an encasement with multiple domes and multiple grids that are encased and it's like a it's like a terrar terrarium a terrarium that's made like you know when you go into and you go and buy a fish or you go and buy a lizard or you go and buy an animal and you put them in this encasement but you put everything that you know that would you know make this animal think that they're in their home you know they'll put some fresh grass in there or you know fake leaves you know fake trees in there you put some soil that is reminiscent to where the animal comes from you put the type of foods that the animals used to or foods that will be more cohesive for you to be able to you know imprison the animal this is what we're living in this isn't earth this isn't where we live this is an artificial construct that we're living in it's fake all of this is fake all of this is a holographic system how do you know it's holographic because like uh because thoughts are things if this was real i couldn't think it and then it manifests into reality that's how you know it's some sort of um some sort of a a, a hologram or a uh what do you call it like a uh you know uh like virtual reality you know what i mean you think it and then it comes into your reality because it isn't real we're in something that uses our thoughts and that's why they manipulate our thoughts all the time by constantly bombarding you with perpetual news okay and socially engineered uh you know uh socially engineered um and socially engineered um uh, uh you know public media you know disbursements our news um our, you know whatever it is okay and be mindful to ignore to ignore all of the social media things that are going on now what they're doing now let me just put this in here and then we'll go it's the sims thank you d's d's mommy you're so right but let me put this in here hold on let me add this all the distractions right now all of the distractions are out of control like they're purposefully putting all of this and be careful because the distractions also are, are latent with all kinds of subliminal um agenda um you know social socially engineered um tele te uh, teleporting messages to your subconscious so what i mean like that like all this thing with uh the gentleman who just passed away i keep i forget his name I don't know i forgot his name again the guy who passed away he was like 57 that's you know um what else uh the um uh johnny depp um what's the other one um will smith those are all those are all dis oh kevin samuels thank you all those are distractions and if you notice lately i want you to pay attention it wasn't me who got this i want to give credit to what credits do we were listening to a video on zoom and this young lady was, we were listening, thank you, M, for sharing this video. This young lady illuminated that all of these new socially engineered distractions right now are all subconsciously putting in vilification of women. Even though the men are on trial, like, look look at the whole thing with um, the uh, that man, um, Sam, oh, I can't, you just said his name. What's his name again? Um... Uh, Kevin Samuels, okay, his name, I couldn't remember his name, Kevin Samuels with um, uh, Will Smith, with uh, Johnny Depp, if you notice that women are being subliminally demonized, so do you understand, I want you to, uh, I want you to see that. I want you to see the fact that all of the women are subliminally being demonized. Why? Is because they'll say it's the men that are wrong. They'll say it's the men on trial. It'll it'll put men that it, you know that we would deem to be less than abnormal, but they still vilify the female. And look at Johnny Depp's situation. They showed the woman pooping, showing her lying. So what that is is it's putting a subliminal. A conflict and a coup so that men and women don't get along right now because remember we're returning to zero point the polarization has to end so remember everything has to do with light and dark um, that's what the whole checkerboard thing that's the whole um, that's the whole uh, you know Masons uh, 33 degree Masons the the um, the whole uh, 
you know, the way that they work with duality, they always are doing things like that perpetual. Oh yeah, Megan the Stallion, but Megan the Stallion is a is a is I don't want to get into that because you already know what I think that entity is. So yeah, but it's demon demonizing her as well. It's all subliminally to make you dislike women. So remember, the goal is that in this realm, it is to make you have beefs. Because remember, we talked about this again. The ultimate goal is to what? Is to merge. It's to get to zero point. How are you going to get to zero point if you're con con um, constantly always on one fence or another? That's that whole thing with like Democrats, Republicans. You know, you're a... Uh, you're a, uh, a fan of one sport and you're against another. It's constant, you are, you are a, a lunar and you hate brown people, or brown people hate lunars. It's constantly going to make you um, work and battling both sides. You know what I mean? Oh, are you gonna go? You gonna have fun? I'm live. Okay. Have fun. <laughs> have fun. Okay. Tell me how it is. And go get some boba. Tell daddy to get some boba. Yeah, get boba. Okay? Sorry, they're going to go. They're going boxing. <laughs> um, it's constantly going back and forth. Duality is playing out. The point is, at this time, it's going. we're supposed to go towards unity consciousness. We're supposed to merge all the various aspects of ourselves and merge them into one. If you're constantly going, <laughs> you love boba? Yeah, my little ones love boba. They're going to go play with their daddy and go do some fun stuff. Um, you're playing, you're going <laughs> to, um, so, uh, so they're constantly going back. So be careful getting involved in any of these distractions, right? Because if you're involved, if you take, and also Roe versus Wade, okay, be careful getting involved in being totally triggered or gaslit by things that are meant to put you on one side as opposed to the other, because if you're potentially, if you're perpetually keep going to extremes on right or left or up and down you're going to con you aren't going to be able to be cohesive during the actual convergence which is basically all of the gateways opening to be able to leave the firmaments okay and i have to say firmaments now because i realize that all the multiple planets that we call planets or um or these uh these uh 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 these what you call it, these, I don't want to say these bodies, these planetary bodies, all basically have their own types of firmament. It may not be like we're under like the highest amount of surveillance because we're the most unconscious souls, probably, you know, you got to think of yourselves. You got a lot of sociopaths living in here. Um, you got a lot of maniacs <laughs> who are basically living in this piece. Bring that jacket inside for me, bro. You want that inside? Okay. Okay. You have multiple different types of sociopathic energies in here. These wouldn't be people or things or entities that would be allowed in on any of the higher realms, planetoids, or or, or um, fixtures. Okay, so I went on a tangent. Let me go back. Basically, what I'm saying is that we are have fun. <laughs> um, we are coexisting in a prism system, a firmament with multiple. For, oh, put them inside for me, yeah. Thank you. Go inside, Cookie. Go inside, Bebe. Go inside. You can't pull them. Come on. Thank you. I'll let them out later. And close, yeah, they won't run out. And just close that door so they don't see you, the car leave. No, just close this door. They'll be fine. They'll have to use the doggy door. Okay. Okay, um, and that is also why they have people staying on um, perpetually the, the agendas to stay same-sexed, um, to be constantly, you're supposed to go and merge together. A light and dark is supposed to come together. Man and woman is supposed to come together. Duality is supposed to end in order for you to feel into higher realms. If you want to kind of get an idea of how that looks visually, I want you to take a look at, you know, I always talk about it. It is the dark crystal. The dark crystal talks about the convergence. Um, remember, uh, at the end when there was this planetary um, 
uh, planetary convergence that was occurring. Remember, you had the Skeksis and you had the Mystics. The Skeksis were like this really disgusting, very materialistic, very dense kind of entity. And the Mystics were like these lighthearted, very nature-based, um, very holistic beings that lived cohesive in nature. The others lived outside of nature. During the convergence, the two had to merge together in order to become one. And if you notice, when they became one, they literally, when they when they entered when they ended up becoming one and going into each other merging converging um going to unity consciousness um the convergence created the a master being with all consciousness um they were evolved okay so that is why they are really trying hard to make a man turn into a woman he does they don't want the man to merge with a woman they want him to become it but that's imbalanced because when he becomes a woman he isn't able to feel then the natural um the natural biological uh you know spiritual connection to an actual female being a female is not just wearing high heels makeup and you know, sh and, and shoes and fake eyelashes, you know, this is what they've equated to a female now with all this transsexualism. It's like, oh, well, you could take all these hormones. You could, you know, you could take all these hormones. You could wear high heels. You could, you know, drop it like socket, fake breasts, and that makes you a female. We are worlds away from men. We are, we are thousands of chemicals away from being a man. What makes us a woman is our chemical or our biochemical uh, composition. It is the, um, it is uh, everything that comes with having a stargate between our legs, having an amazing, um, um, you know, I don't know if you as women understand or understand that your yoni, your, your womb is a stargate. It brings in beings from all other planets. You actually usher in beings via your vessel through to this earth plane. So it makes you a stargate in itself. We talked about that last time. That's what makes you very unique. Getting a sex change doesn't allow for a man to ever have that. He doesn't have a yoni. He won't ever have that. And if he ever gets a yoni, it will be artificial and won't be able to bring forth the proper life. That would be more organic. It's like it's like an heirloom versus a, a copycat. A copy can't ever be a a copy won't ever be an original. Okay? So that's why they perpetually keep ushering in you know, um, keep ushering in uh, propaganda that is uh, constantly bombarding you with same sexed, um, you know, propaganda, um, say, uh, transgenderism, anything that makes you non balanced, that's what it's pushing out there right now. It wants you to be as imbalanced because the only beings that'll be able to uh, perhaps access the other portals or jump rooms to be able to leave would have to be balanced and have to also have been mind, body, and spirit converged into oneness to be able to access the higher planes of existence. Okay. So that being said, um, I hope I explained that properly. Please put a like on the video if you're up for the shenanigans today. I've got free time. The doggies are inside. Mommy has time. So you have me for a little bit. Uh, Okay, so the mirror. This is the one that I wanted to share today, and this is the reason why I'm making the video. What I found out was that, and I was having, I was having him get me a compact. And I don't think we have, okay, so this is one of the tools, and hopefully you'll be able to do this, because this is really, it's gonna frighten you a little bit, but you know, I'm a triple sage. I'm gonna give you facts rather than fiction, but I'm gonna have to let you see something so you can solidify it yourself. And it's a specific type of, um, of uh, mirror that you have to get. They don't make these mirrors anymore, okay? So um, I want you to get an old compact. Listen to me, because it's gonna be really hard and I'm gonna show you something. It's gonna be a little scary. So let me put a disclaimer here. Put a like on the video if you're up for the shenanigans today. I hope you're enjoying the content that I'm sharing. Hopefully it'll stay up. Um, but I'm gonna give you something that might be a little frightening and I always wanna give you FYI, okay? Um, okay. 
I need you to get, and I have to, I'm going to ask M because M told me why these type of mirrors work and maybe not all of them. Um, I want you to get an old compact. Get your grandmother's if you can. Like an old, when I say old compact, it can't. Now, I'm going to tell you why this is going to, why it could be a little scary. So the disclaimer, um, the disclaimer is don't, <sighs> refrain from doing anything that would, that you can't handle. Should I say it that way? I got to give you the warning because I don't want you to get scared. Um, yes, one beloved, you already knew. Thank you. You knew that's what M said last time. Okay. Um, okay. Be careful with this. It's very, it happens and I don't want to scare you because when you see it, it's, you can't unsee it. So it's an old complex and like our C star just said, it has silver backing. It's silver and how you see it. Thank you, my love. Once you beloved, um, it has silver in it. It's the only compacts they used to have back in the days. You can't get them anywhere. I did it before, but it's crazy because you can't, they've stopped making them. They totally, and if you, and they're going to try to get all of them out of your, um, out of your, uh, uh, ability to get them. So I would go in like, um, maybe on eBay where, what else is old? Like where you can get old stuff, go to those old thrift stores where they still sell them. Okay. Remember the silver. Okay. So get one of those old compacts. I'm telling you to do this, but if you do it, please know that whatever you see, you can't unsee. Promise me. And I have to say this to you. Don't let your children do it. You know, I don't ever want to scare the little people. Um, but you got to get the specific kind of compact. Take this compact and go out in the public with it and see how many reflections don't show. Listen to me. I'm telling you, it's going to freak you out. You're going to bring that compact out and I want you to walk around and that whole vampire thing wasn't what you thought it was. They try to make a scene. And remember, they don't make vampire movies like that anymore about the no reflection. And they don't make mirrors like this anymore. They don't make them. They stop making them. And most of you don't even look in mirrors anymore. You look at the big ghetto bootleg mirrors that they make now that don't have a backing. They don't have the silver in it. That you aren't able to see it. See, it's a combination. They tell you things, but they don't tell you things. They tell you how to kill a vampire is or how you determine a vampire was with not seeing the reflection but they also say in the same type of genre you know hard genre that to kill a kill a werewolf is you would use silver but what it is is you need the combination platter to see the ones that don't exist the holographic people the people that aren't real they're actually holograms and in order to see the holograms it's not that they're vampires they're holograms if you take it and you place it in public when you walk around, you're gonna freak out because you're gonna see, you're gonna walk around and see all these people and then you're gonna look in the mirror and a lot of those people won't even be there. They won't, you won't see them in the mirror. You won't. So I want you to try this. I want you to try, try this and again, um, it's the same thing that we did on Zoom. Big up to M. Who else was there that night? We did this with the whole concept of mercury. You know, like red mercury? Um, there was an experiment with red mercury and this is a fact, okay? Because I think um, most of you don't realize that there there are beings here that are, they are being projected down here. They're holograms. I don't even know that they know that they're holograms. It's like a being on a holodeck, okay? But we were watching a video um, on the, it was a scientific video on mercury and it was liquid mercury. It's uh, many of you, I don't know if you remember that your old TVs, your old television sets. Remember your old television sets used to have these um, little tubes in them? And remember the little tubes had mercury in it? That mercury was like a catalyst to energy-wise to use. It was like a liquid red mercury. Do you guys remember it? Okay, so that liquid red mercury in this experiment could not be seen in the reflection. Listen, y'all, we watched it. You could not see the reflection of the mercury. 
and you had to say to yourself, why wouldn't we be able to see? The guy's doing the experiment. We see that the, he's using mercury, but when he put a mirror, a specific mirror in front of the mercury, we could see it in the camera, but in the reflection in the mirror, you could not see the red mercury. Remember they stopped making these televisions? Do you remember they stopped making these God darn televisions? You do, right? How many televisions do you see with that red mercury? They got rid of it. They made all TVs digital and they made them um, plasma, right? Plasma TVs, all right? So, um, yes, it's true mercury. And remember, in China, you know, they use cinnabar to make all their temples and stuff. Cinnabar and mercury are kind of synonymous. If you know what cinnabar is, it's that beautiful reddish, kind of reddish grayish kind of um crystal you can get the crystals we have the crystals but that cinnabar color that cinnabar which is a type of mercury like a condensed mercury they put it on all of their um their um their spiritual um fi fixtures and buildings and whatnot and i think there's a reason to why they use that remember the chinese uh, let me explain something y'all and i'm gonna kind of go off left for a second let me go off left or maybe right. It just depends. I'm going both directions. <laughs> I don't want to even pick a side anymore. Okay. Um, I'm somewhere in the middle. Uh, do you know that the Chinese have so much chronological information that supersedes any of the other, other than places probably in Africa that have obviously older chronological information, um, but not that we could source. You know, I would have to talk to my people in Nigeria, maybe, um, I think Sierra Leone, Ethiopia, definitely, my Ethiopians. I would have to see how far your information, chronological information that's been, that we could source has gone back. But China has some of the oldest forms of metaphysical information that can be sourced that they have access to. It's interesting because the Chinese, though, you know, United Fakes says they got issues with China, right? Oh, India. Thank you, Eric. Uh, Eric, Eric Summer says India and China have the oldest documents. Thank you. Thank you. So in e the eastern part of the world, the eastern, you know, all in eastern Asia, do we have a lot of the oldest information? Do you just found some old mirrors? Thank you. Do this experiment. Tell, tell me what your results are, everyone. Okay? So... Um, why do I bring this up? I notice as in my travels all over this country, I've, I've, um, I've, I've noticed everywhere that I've traveled. I've been traveling for the last, since I've gotten back from Brazil, I've traveled all over the country from East coast to West coast, um, and vice versa. And I've noticed something that was interesting. Hold on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was scared. That was a garage. Um, so I noticed something that was interesting. If we have such issues with China and they're such the bad guys, according to United Fakes and Russia, why am I seeing all the Chinese and Russian all over the globe? Why do I say this? When I was driving from West Coast to East Coast, I noticed something that was interesting. I noticed that there was a lot of military and in the military why are you guys bad oh no just because they said that he wasn't coming so he kind of filled his slot so we weren't able to go oh darn it okay wait did you tell him to maybe get boba you get the boba? okay <laughs> okay sorry about that um I wanted to say that if we're supposed to be at war with China and Russia, right? Supposedly, I'm, listen, this isn't my call. I'm just saying what the United Fakes is promoting all over. They got an issue with Russia. You know, Russia is to them the bad guy. You know, everything is evil that's from Shimwa's neck of the woods. How come, if that's the case, how come when I'm driving around the country, I see trucks with Russian written on the back? Okay, so uh, how come when I'm traveling around and I'm going past different military installations that I'm seeing, yeah, 
that I'm seeing. Wait. You cut your foot? Bad? That's what daddy said to wear. I'm sorry. Um, why am I seeing tons of chinois all, all in our military? Wait, wait, but, but, but they're our enemies, right? Why are the chinois all in our military? Why well, I'm seeing chinois, and I'm not talking about the other Asian groups because you know, I am cognizant that not all Asianic features come from China, okay? So remember, it's like saying all brown people are from Africa. We come from all over and there's Asians that are from many different multiple places, including in Africa. There's Asianic groups that look phenotype Asianic with melanin that are from Africa and other places too. Please know that I am well, vetted and sound in how um i perceive things okay so i'm talking about chinese why when i go past military installations around this country do i see a multiple amount of chinese soldiers that are part of our military though supposedly we got issues with china why is it that most of the medication that we get that we get all this medication, they're over there. <laughs> I get, we get all this medication from Babette, uh, Babette and Fi, come here. Okay. Um, we get medication, all of the medication, all of your, a lot of your, um, your pharmaceuticals come over from China. If China is the enemy, according to the United States fakes, and we have an issue with them, why are we still doing business with them? And why are they all over here training over in Washington, uh, Washington state? Why is it that Russia, I see Russian trucks with obviously Russian dialect on the back of the trucks with the actual um, uh, um, uh, um, what do you call it? With their actual, uh, sorry, we got dogs, hold on. With their actual, uh, translation on the back of these trucks okay so why is that the case so because that's a lie i just want to i want to tell you that because there isn't any beef with them they own the entire country you know that right they own the entire country 